Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a variation on the double lift that I've been using quite a lot lately. Uh, it's a nice change up from your standard two car turnover double lift or if you're one of those guys that use this double lift, if I can even get it, I didn't even get it. Uh, never really practiced that double lift. I don't like it. It's really awkward. I'd much rather do just the standard double lift over that one. But if you use it, that's your preference, whatever. Uh, getting off topic a little bit. The one I've been using lately kind of looks like this. You to the point of where you want to snap and do your double lift. This is what I've been doing lately is just coming and putting it back in the middle again. You snap or have them snap or whatever and it comes back to the top. Again this is just a little variation on the double lift. I'll show you guys one more time what it looks like. You show your spectator their card and you're just going to put it into the center just like that. And it stays on top. So how it's done is you get to the point in your routine where you're ready for your double lift. And what I do is I get a little break. I come up at the break with my thumb right there and then the middle goes right up from it. And then the index finger on the back, I break that double apart. All you're doing is getting a little bend in it like you're just doing a little peek at the card just like that and you're just going to rotate your entire hand. What that's doing, that bend, is keeping both cards taut because if you just turn it over like that, it's going to kind of seem weird, but if you just turn it over like that, it looks a little bit better and it keeps it from letting that double break up like that. So, again, you come up just like that and you're going to transfer these two cards to this hand with the middle and thumb holding the sides and the index holding the bottom. You're just going to come up like that, transfer it. Now the uh, thumb and middle are going to keep the sides square and the index is going to keep the top and bottom square. You also want to, instead of holding it flat and risking that top uh, flashing, just put a little bend in it and that keeps the top from spreading open. So just put a little bend in it like that. You're only going to be in this position for a quick moment. Your index and middle and then thumb are going to come up and grab right near the pip, just like that. As you bring the two cards back behind the deck, you're just showing it to your spectator one more time. And then you're just going to come up. And you want to complete this entire motion as you drop that card off and fake put it into the middle. So what's happening is you do that move just like that. That's how fast you want everything to go. You don't want to stay in any of these positions too long. <clears throat> You're in this position, you come to the back of the deck. As you come down like this, you're letting these two cards hit the deck just like that. So they're sliding on it. You're coming up. At about this moment here, you're going to want to split the two cards just like that and get about a centimeter's length in between those two cards. So you're at this position here, you split the two cards, you want to keep them as straight as possible. As you come up, your index is going to stay here, you're letting that card drop off before it hits your index. You don't want to end up like that, you want to end up like that. So in this position you can square everything up just by squeezing the deck a little bit and then you come up and you put what they think is their card into the middle. So that might have sounded a little confusing to you guys, but again, you just show it and you're dropping just like that. Uh, a couple of pointers I want to give you is you show the card, come up, don't stop here. You let that card, don't stop here, lift up and put it in the middle. You want to continue that full motion of just dragging that card across because it looks so much smoother that way rather than coming up with a double doing that and then lifting up either one is fine I guess but I just think it looks much better coming up and doing that full swiping motion and then putting it into the middle uh, I'll show you guys one more time you do that double come up and right about here you're going to let that card pop off and you complete that whole motion 
and put it into the middle just like that so kind of an underview of what this looks like is you turn the card over show it to your spectators and as you come up again you're gonna split that and get that centimeter drop and you want to drop it before it hits the first finger so you're gonna drop right about there you can kind of squeeze the deck a little bit just kind of square everything up as you come forward and put it into the middle so yeah, that was the variation on the double lift that I've been using quite a bit lately. Again, it's just a great way to change out from that standard, uh, you know, two card double lift, whatever. I would say overused double lift, but again, show it really quickly and then put it into the middle. And that's it, just like that. Uh, before I leave, I'm actually going to do a deck giveaway in this video to show appreciation to my subscribers and my viewers. I'm going to give away a red World Series of Poker deck. This is a really nice deck of cards. You can kind of see the back design right there. But yeah, I'm going to give away this brand new deck of cards to one person that subscribed and leaves a comment in this video. I'm going to choose my favorite comment to win. So that's all you got to do, and I will announce the winner in next week's video. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.